part of the terrain gets lots of rain is lush and beautiful and part of it doesn't get much rain and is rather dry. Ngorongoro Serena Lodge, as you can see, is about 7,500 feet altitude, and all of the rooms have beautiful views looking out over the crater. Here's the hallway, and they've elevated everything to have less impact on the environment. Here's our room, and here's the view from our patio. Every room looks out onto the crater floor. We've entered the crater and this is the road descending down into the basin. Came from back up there on the worst road I've been on in my life. Weaver birds are known for their intricate nest building skills. These are elands, and they are the largest of the antelopes. And they're quite shy, so you usually don't get to see them. So we're quite lucky this morning to have come across a small herd. And unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of them left around because they taste real good. I had some Elan sausage and get as heavy as 2,000 pounds. <laughs> Down here in the crater is 102 square miles. Most of the animals pretty much stay here year-round. Getting out would be difficult for some of them. I found that the crater floor is mostly grassland and most of the animals are grazers. There's about 10,000 wildebeest, 5,000 zebras, 400 spotted hyenas, 70 elephants, and 55 lions. Notice there's no giraffes or impalas. They think that the giraffes can't deal with the steep slopes of the crater wall. They don't know why there's no impalas. Occasionally, leopards and cheetahs have been spotted. These are Grant's gazelles. Big bird is a secretary bird. He's being shy. Big lion headed straight towards us. Big male lion. There's a bunch of wildebeest across the street. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. He crossed right in oh. front of our vehicle. Well, he's not hunting. No. He's on the mission of going somewhere. I think you can see, do you see there is the hyenas? They look like they're eating something there. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, you want to take over. You see? Uh -huh. The hyenas, they're running now. You see? Uh -huh, yeah. Holding, uh -huh. Running, yeah. You see? He's running. <sighs> the hyenas have a kill over there, and the lion's going to take it away from them. Here he comes. Wow. Yeah, the hyenas are taking off. Oh, off. they are running. Hy hyenas are running. And the vultures left. Yeah. The other guys mm. gave up. He's holding it. He just took it. There's two more lions. A male and a female. The female and the male. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're going to see if they can go get part of the other guy's stolen meal. Wow. This close up of a marabou stork sitting right by the road. That's a hippo. This is called the hippo pool for obvious reasons. Got a couple out of the water and there's a whole bunch in the water. One's in the water but you can't see from right here. So do you know the actual color of hippo? It's pink. 
the hippos are pink here. Really? Oh. Yeah, so they get uh, uh, that brown because of sunburn. Oh. Uh, although uh -huh. they have got certain <laughs> kind of mucus, you know, we call it red tan. mucus. <laughs> and the, if you see the baby, oh, you see them under the neck and of the belly, it's more pink. Mm. Hippos are taking well, off. Well, they will be pleasing, thank you. Where the brain? Well, look, look, look at that. Look at yeah. that. Oh, oh wow. Man. I've never seen them doing like this. Oh my mm. gosh. Oh, wow, baby. <laughs> <laughs> baby, baby. Oh, baby. Aren't they darling? Take a video of anyone. Take a video. Using a camera, uh, I mean a cell phone camera, take what a video. What are they talking? It's a hippo's migration. <laughs> that is something. That's very nice. Wow, they certainly made a move. How they're going to get in the water over here. Yeah, actually they're coming from the neighborhood, going back home. <laughs> they're joining this guy down here. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Scuba diving. <laughs> the big, Scuba. Study the big male. He's looking why they're coming. Yeah. What, wow. what is the Why they're coming? We don't we don't have enough accommodations here. <laughs> wow. Come on, a little yeah, tiny baby that are coming over to join the other hippos. <laughs> <laughs> they don't talk, take longer if the female is accepted. Big, big she, mama. She's looking for the right spot. Oh my gosh, that's a real little baby. Mama, oh, did. mama we did. You jump. Jump, jump in. Ready? One, two, three. No, I don't jump. No, she's oh, oh, got oh. her baby. She's got to find a place oh, for baby. her baby. Oh, jump. baby. <laughs> A member of the cat family called a caracou, and he's stalking something. I still stalking something. We backed up. Thought she was after something. Now she's sitting. Now she's wandering off. Crown crane. The crane of the United States is gold eagle. The 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 crane which they have is gold. This is a national national bird. National bird. What's the animal? Okay, we got a pretty big ostrich here. Now oh, about to get run over by a so safari this is a vehicle. Jackal of a of another stripe. Side of the road, way in the distance, are a lot of wildebeest. And you can see the rim of the crater. He's looking for me. Hmm. He's. Uh... Across the road, about thirty feet away. Okay, here comes the second guy. They're both old males. So this guy's got pink legs and neck just for the season to attract women. Now let's see what happens. Not the least bit bothered by that vehicle coming up. 